Thank you, House Chair. House Chair, the power crisis, besides devastating households and businesses, is eroding the nation's economic growth prospects, disrupting supply chains and stoking inflation. And public anger is understandably growing with government's inability to deal with this crisis. The average citizen just wants the load shedding, not only to be reduced, but to be removed. It is having an increased negative impact also on the nation's psyche, on the citizen's mental health. And this is deeply concerning to the ACDP. Now, this situation has to be considered against the background of this bill today, a background of 254 billion rand, basically a bailout to ESCOM. It is significant that the Financial Fiscal Commission in its report warned that government debt was projected to increase due to this debt to relief arrangement and the increased lend market lending rates debts with the debt service costs increasing from 307 billion to 397 billion. That is a staggering 90 billion rand increase. Now the ACDP shares concerns that have been expressed and yes, one does seem to feel between a rock and a hard place given this bailout. But there's also the addition of what Honorable Butelezi from our right referred to as the moral hazard. The moral hazard applies in two regards in this matter. First, the ESCOM saying, well, we've got another 254 billion rand that will suffice for the time being. And there is a little loophole here where it says no new borrowing will be allowed until the end of debt relief unless the minister, unless the minister grants it. So there's another loophole for further bailouts. And of course, the second moral hazard relates to municipal debts, which at this stage reach or amount for 57 billion rand, also being written off. This again creates a bad precedent. Now, Chairperson, the ACDP believes that there are massive concerns about this bailout in total. We know, as has been indicated, and myself having been involved in the ESCOM inquiry, the levels of corruption, state-aided corruption, that have resulted in ESCOM being sitting in the situation where it is today. We are deeply concerned about the impact that this bailout will have on government debt service costs. We will see today the Reserve Bank has just hiked our interest rates again by 50 basis points. Minister, this is a challenge to every citizen in South Africa, and we do not believe that this is the best way to sort out the challenges faced by ESCOM. I thank you.